Welcome back. I am Animated Mail. We're getting into episode number three of Call of the Night. Last episode, it ended with him finally getting an interaction with someone else other than the vampire girl. So let's see what this episode is going to take us and maybe we'll get some new interactions. Who knows? But subscribe, like this video, and let's go ahead and jump into this episode right now. Animated Yeah, Yamuri. She kind of looks like Rukia. His little friend, Akira. I wonder if the vampire chick sees her, she's going to get kind of jealous. From what point are people friends? Yeah. He's asking all the real questions, though. Friends are friends when you think they're friends? Calling someone a friend you haven't seen for years might be rude. I can understand that, in a sense. Oh, he's still con or thinking about that receiver he received as a when he was a child. He wanted someone to be friends with. Oh, Akira's the one who has the transceiver. Oh, so she the one that took it a while. You gave it to me. He gave it to her? But he said he just left it on top of the box thing. I waited for you to send a call signal, but you never did. Oh, damn, so she wanted to be friends with him. But he was being so kind of standoffish. She said you left it in our mailbox. He used to be pretty gloomy. Because we're friends. She said that we're friends. We friends, baby. Hey, arigato. We made friends, baby. Why are they standing so damn far apart from one another, though? So looking at him as a child when he was a kid, playing by himself. Like, come and play with us. What you doing, bruh? He over there watching ants carry a dead insect. He a weirdo. I like it, though. Shout out to the weirdos. Now they watching ants together. I never really watched bugs like that when I was younger. Maybe ants. She got the same hairstyle as a kid. And now she's an adult. What kind of hug or greeting was that? Damn, that sun about to come up. Taking a walk on the way home. So now he has two people to meet up with. He has the vampire chick. And now he has uh old girl. Ah, she hung up on him. Good night. Is he going to tell her that he's meeting up with old girl? Do you think and live right away? We just have a physical relationship. They ain't even do nothing. Nah, he's going to see another woman for real, for real. Why don't you just say it's a friend? Stop being so conspicuous. These three junk dudes again. They met. So he doesn't go to school, but he meets up with his friend that goes to school. He probably got a crush on him. Like, that doesn't seem fun. That's another way to uh, burn time. <laughs> Does she like me or something? Oh my gosh, look at Nazuna, she over there creeping. She probably gonna try to make friends with her. What do we do? Hanky Panky. What the hell is Hanky Panky? Fee Fat Phone with a Hanky Panky. My relationship is purely physical, you can relax. <laughs> you school kids like to link everything to romance. Oh snap. You better not look away. Oh man. She just bit his damn neck. That's her form of romance. Don't do it in front of my friend. A vampire. I wonder if she's a, if she's a, well, you know what? I was about to question if she's a real vampire, but she fucking flew. So she has to be. <laughs> be okay with you guys? Why would that be okay? <laughs> Why are you letting her drink your blood? She's asking all the real questions. Why did you stop coming to school? Yeah, why did he stop going to school? They never um, foreshadowed that at, at all. Every day I don't enjoy being at school or at home. So they're just basically dealing with these emotions of figuring out who's their friends and who, who, you know, how to make friendships. I guess this is when you're in school. But when I was in school, I didn't really think about stuff like that. Damn, school is more fun for her when he's around. But she ain't gonna go. Oh, he ain't gonna go. Nazuna. 
Asai Akira, human, Ningen. You hadn't seen him in a while. What were you doing all this time? Oh, uh, questioning her. I'm leaving. She just leaves. Drinks the beer, leaves. Can't go pay for it? Or did they already pay? Oh, she left without paying her bill. That's what I was thinking. Like, bro, you can't leave. You gotta pay this bill first. Is he just silently walking around with her? Are you angry? I'm not angry. But you are. I'm not angry. You just said it back. Nah, she stuck the middle finger up at him. She big mad. He lost sight of her. So he, my dude is basically a street walker. Like, is there no police around here or something? Like, to see a kid just walking around? Where's his parents at? I got so many questions. Ah, he fell. I do that all the time, walking up the steps. Ah, he about to page her. I'm sorry about what? <laughs> I'm sorry because you're angry. That's not an apology. You can't apologize. I'm sorry you're angry. Oh, that's adorable. He's right there. I want to make up with you. Angry and ticked off are different. Nah, they're in the same room. There's no way he'd go to school. <laughs> he can't tell a human that he wants to be a vampire. True, true that. You know what I mean? Is that a kiss? Oh, she. Oh, she saw. Oh, that's his first kiss, huh? Our human kiss. Tomorachi. I ain't gonna take no. She. She. She was kind of cool with that. She's like, I ain't gonna take no more blood from you. See you tomorrow, friend. Friends don't usually kiss and stuff. Ha <laughs> If they got benefits, they do. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> All right. Nice little. We got a mixture. We got a. We got another character added to the to the scenery to the scenario. So nice little addition of Akira, a Akai Akira, or was it Asai or Akai? Um, she kind of reminds me of Rukia, and it would be cool to see him go to school actually. And I think it was a pretty cool interaction between the three. I thought he was gonna try to keep her a secret, but I'm glad that they ended up, you know, combining and having that conversation and talking over beer and coffee. Interesting combination, beer and coffee at 3.30 and 4 a.m. in the morning. Um, but I wonder if she's actually going to show her some of her vampire abilities. Like, because she's like, uh, are you a vampire? I, said, I don't care if you believe me or not. You know what I mean? I'm still a vampire. And I respect that because you don't need to be validated by someone, you know? But... This episode, they were basically fig trying to figure out friendship, you know, the power, not, not not the power of friendship, but just trying to figure out how friendship is going to play a part in their lives and how it has, because originally he thought he, he didn't have any friends, you know, but, you know, when you're reclusive and, you know, you, you're shut off and you're more of an introvert than anything, it's kind of hard to tell who's going to be your friend or not, but Kira obviously thinks of him as a as a friend and she wants him to come to school man hopefully one episode he goes to school so we can see some different interactions and also it'll be interesting to see if that vampire chick goes to school with him because she seems like she's around the same age even though she's older um but yeah man let me know your thoughts about this episode and i will see you beautiful people next time you all take care have a beautiful day don't forget if there's no one else in this whole wild world that believes in you i do so let's get Animated!